As many of you know, Windows 10, in a lot of ways, is designed to spy on you. And so, in this video, we're going to go over just some basic, simple steps that you can take to increase your privacy and even your security here in Windows 10. The first thing we're going to do is come down here to the search window. And what you'll need to do is just type in a word or phrase, anything will do. And what you'll want to do next is over here on the left hand side, after you type in your word, there should be a little gear icon. Yours might show up down here, or it might be up here, but either way, there should be a gear icon here on the left hand side. You'll just click on it, and it's going to open up some search settings. Now, some of you may not realize this, but everything that you type in this search window, or a lot of it, gets transmitted back to Microsoft. And so, what you'll want to do is when these settings come up, the more settings you have turned off, the greater your privacy. And so I would go down the list here. Yours might be a little bit different, but overall, the rule of thumb is the more settings you have turned off, the greater your privacy will be. Now, once you've finished that, what you'll want to do is come down here and search for settings. And we're just going to open up the settings here on Windows 10. And we're going to uh, first go here to Privacy. And over here on the left-hand side, it's going to have a bunch of different sections. You're going to have to go down each one. Um, but just a couple things. Underneath General, you're probably going to want to at least have this one and this one turned off. Uh, we usually recommend that you leave the smart screen turned on because it can help uh, protect the computer. And then this last one is going to be up to you. But after that, you're going to want to go down each uh, section here on the left-hand side. And just like before, the more things that you have turned off, the greater your privacy is going to be. Now, if you come across something that you legitimately use, then you could go ahead and leave it on. But again, just remember, the more things that you have turned off, the better your privacy is going to be here in Windows 10. So again, just go down each section here, turn off as much as uh, as much of the uh, options here as you can. And so we're just going to go down each one, just double check. And for this computer, we just want as much turned off as possible. Now this this section right here, the feedback and diagnostics, when you get here, what we would recommend is you set this option right here to never. And this one, where it's sending your usage data, now there's no option to turn this off completely but you can turn it down to at least basic, which is the minimum. So that way your computer is not uh, constantly contacting the Microsoft servers. And also, by going through and turning a lot of these off, it's also going to help optimize your computer because the computer is not going to be running or communicating constantly in the background. Also here on the last option, the background apps, Again, same thing, turn as many of these off. Again, it will also help to optimize your computer because they're not always running in the background. Once you've completed that, just go ahead and click the back button. And this time go to update and security. First, come here to the up, uh, Windows Update tab. Now this should be updating automatically, but just to double check, you can come here and uh, check for updates just to make sure that your computer is up to date, which is very important because they include security updates. Now if you're using Windows Defender, which is the built-in antivirus, what we recommend is that you use this top setting or turn on this top setting, the real-time protection. As far as these bottom two, we would generally recommend to increase your privacy to turn both of these off because these include sending your information to Microsoft. So again, turn the top option on, turn the bottom two off, now, if you're using a different antivirus uh, software, there's a good chance that there's these same basic types of settings available to turn on and off. You're going to have to open up your antivirus software and locate the settings and look for the similar or equivalent options to turn on or off. Once that is completed, you'll go ahead and just close this window and come down here to the search window and just type in Control Panel. And we're just going to go ahead and open up the control panel. And we're going to go to System and Security. Up here at the top, we're going to go to Security and Maintenance. 
And we're just going to extend the security tab, which will just let us know that the computer is protected and that everything's working properly. Here you'll be able to see which antivirus is monitoring and protecting the computer. It will let you uh, know for sure that it is on and working. It will also let you know if your firewall is operating. And as well as here you can come to check the UAC. If it's not turned on, this is something a lot of people turn off because they don't like it popping up. We strongly recommend you do not turn off your UAC because this prevents malware from installing on your computer without your permission. If I click the change settings option here, we recommend just the default setting which is this line here. So uh, again, do not turn that off. We know a lot of people turn it off because they don't like uh, pop-ups or whatnot. So just leave it on. It's a, a safe gap. It's a safe measure to keep your computer uh, safe and keep malware from installing without your uh, knowledge or permission. Also, as we already stated, leave Windows Smart Screen turned on. If you do need to adjust the firewall, we can hit the back button and go to the Windows Firewall. And the easiest way is just come over here to turn Windows Firewall on or off. It will give you the private and public options. If you have the, uh, if you're connected to a public network, we would recommend that you check both of these boxes. That's going to be up to you. But again, for maximum privacy and security, we'd recommend that you uh, block all incoming co uh, connections. And we'll go ahead and hit OK. And then we'll just hit back. The other thing here is if you're using a professional version of Windows, you will have an option for BitLocker, which will encrypt your hard drive. It's full disk encryption. And so if you're using a home or student version of Windows, this option uh, will not be available. But if you do have a professional version, we strongly recommend that you come here. Just click on it. There will be an option right here to turn on the BitLocker, which will go ahead and encrypt your hard drive. For the next step, just go ahead and come up here and click on the Control Panel Home option. And so from here, you will want to click on the Network and Internet, and then Network and Sharing Center. And then over here on the left-hand side, it will say Change Advanced Sharing Settings. We can click on that. First, underneath Private, uh, we can extend the options here. Now, if you're on your home private network, you should be fine to leave these turned on. But if you're looking to increase, increase privacy and security, you can definitely turn all of these off. However, if you are on a guest or public uh, network, we would strongly recommend that you leave these turned off unless you know for sure that you are on a trusted, secure network. And then underneath all networks, Again, by default, we would recommend that you leave it turned off. Make sure you're using 128-bit encryption and also make sure you turn on password protection for sharing. Once you have adjusted those settings, you can click Save here to save them. Now for the last step that I'm going to show you, um, first I'm just going to go ahead and close the control panel here and then come down to the search window and we're just going to type in settings. We're just going to go back to the settings window and I'm going to click on network and internet. Now this computer does not have Wi-Fi, but for those of you that do have Wi-Fi, you will have an option listed over here on the left hand side. It will just say Wi-Fi and you'll need to click on it. Now once you click on it over here, it will give you a list of setting options and there are, there's going to be several pertaining to uh, hotspots you need to turn those off. Uh, there's one that will ask about paid Wi-Fi. You need to turn that one off as well because that also has to do with uh, hotspots. So the reason why you want to leave those off is because you do not want to temporarily connect to a hotspot that's not secure. And so again, click on Wi-Fi over here on the left-hand side. And then when the settings show up here in the middle, make sure that you turn off any settings that have to do with hotspots or paid Wi-Fi. You need to turn those settings off. So that's everything. It basically just boils down to the more settings you have turned off on Windows 10, the greater your privacy and security will be because not all that information will be transmitted back to Microsoft.